Hi there, it's Rob Sayer again. Welcome to the fourth uh, edition of our Spect Vectorworks Spotlight Basics tutorials. In the last three we looked at some um, tools and some bits of workflow to uh, get Vectorworks going. Today we're going to actually start to create a drawing, create a theatre drawing and also to talk a bit about organisation. So um, let's get straight on with it then. I'm just going to fire up my blank Vectorworks document. If you remember we uh, were working on an A3 plan and we had it set to a scale of 1 to 50 and we set that in one of the earlier tutorials so before we actually start at the end of the last tutorial you might remember I talked about the difference between using layers and using classes and layers and classes being two building blocks uh, to organize a uh, CAD drawing so just to recap um, I was talking about the idea of using layers for physical layers in a space maybe in a theater it might be the floor of the venue uh, and then another layer for the stage and then another layer for roof so maybe some uh, rigging positions or whatever so that was the kind of basic idea behind layers um, the reason for that is is when you start working in 3d you'll find if you started off in that vein so you use different layers for different physical levels in the building you'll find that it makes uh, life a lot easier if you start working in 3d so classes on the other hand are what we're going to use to kind of uh, organize our, the look of our drawing so we can change the colors of the lines and stuff like that for different types of things maybe set or venue lines or maybe um, lighting or rigging positions um, and you can change the colors and change the look of them but also you can the same with layers and classes you can turn them on and off when you're working so you don't have to look at them all the time so first off I'm going to start off by creating some layers and if you remember we talked last time about the layers being down here the second button in the navigation tab is design layers I've got one here already and it's called deck level so we'll call that the floor of our venue and I'm going to create another one so I click this little arrow on the right I'm going to create right new and then I'm going to call one called right stage I'm going to type in stage here I'm going to go edit properties after creation I'm going to go OK. That brings up a window that then gives me some other things I can change. The only thing I'm going to change on this at the moment is I'm going to change the Z factor. So the Z height is the height in the world where this layer is. And my stage is going to be one meter from the floor. So I'm going to put one M. OK, so that's the second layer. The last layer I'm going to create is one for the roof. So I might call that uh, rig or something so let's call it the rig layer so that's where everything that's hung up in the air is going to be so another one and again edit properties and this time our rig is going to be at five meters from the floor okay so we've got three layers here now the deck layer is uh, is at the bottom and the rig layer is on the top which is, as you might expect if you wanted to change the order of the layers you can simply pick up the number where it says one there and you can just reorder it by dragging it down until it pings in between the, the other two layers. So I've got my rig on the top, that makes sense, then stage, then deck level. Now I'm going to create a couple of classes, and this is where we start to change things like line weights and colors and stuff like that. So the first tab in the navigation palette is classes, and there's one class with, with basically a none class, and there's also another one called dimension. Now I'm going to create some more. I'm going to create one for my venue. So again, Click on the arrow, and I'll write Venue, Edit Properties after Creation, and I think I'm going to make my venue pen uh, blue. And I want to put Use at Creation, which means next time I draw an object in that venue, it's going to give me these properties. I'm going to go OK. I'm going to create two more classes. New, uh, another one could be Set or Scenery, so same again, and we use that creation and also we we'll call that what we'll the set could be uh, maybe call it this kind of dark gray greeny color I'm not sure whether that is let's have it, something a bit more there we are let's have it red is a bit more obvious and um, we'll go okay so that's our third class uh, then we're going to create another one called LX so that can be our lantern stuff so I think I'll leave that black for now. I'm just going to put user creation so it's on. Okay, so we've got a number of layers and a number of classes. When you're drawing in a layer, you want to make sure that you've actually got the layer active. So there's a little tick down there. So then you can draw in that layer 
and that's where the thing that you're actually physically working on at the time ends up. It's the same with classes. If you want something to uh, be attached to a class to start with when you draw it, you need to make sure you're actively using that class. So I'm going to go to deck level and I'm going to go to venue because the first thing I'm going to do is draw a little theatre. And while we're doing this, I'm going to show you a couple of other drawing tools which might be quite useful. So I'm not going to worry so much about actual physical dimensions. If you remember, we did the whole tab thing where we put in 10 and 6 and stuff like that. If you remember that, and you'll remember that from previous tutorials. So what I'm going to draw is a, is a, is a sort of basic theatre shape. That's going to be uh, my sort of stage area. I'm going to draw another rectangle which is going to be my auditorium area. Let's make it a bit smaller and then I can just move it into position over here. So that's going to make it a bit of a slightly irregular shape so you can see what I'm getting at in a minute. And I'm going to just again draw something slightly irregular here. So I've got four rectangles there at the moment. What I'm going to do is I want to make these th these four rectangles, or these th these three rectangles, into my theatre shape. The first two rectangles, I'm going to select them both together, and then I'm going to go to the modify panel. If you remember, I said modify was quite an quite an important uh, panel in Vectorworks, especially the 2010. Um, and I'm going to go add surface. And once that's done, you can see that's basically added my two rectangles together, and that's created my special sort of asymmetric theatre shape that I'm going to have. The next thing I'm going to do to show you is I'm just going to move this down a touch like that. So I've now got two shapes again and I'm going to select them all again by drawing a box around them. And I'm going to go to modify and I'm going to go to clip. Now you can see something's changed, you're not quite sure what. If I move this rectangle out of the way you can see the second rectangle has actually chopped a piece of our first shape off. So the first two add surface created a, a shape out of two shapes and the second one clip surface subtracted something. So I'm just going to centre this up in my world space. So you can go 0, 0 and the centre point is at 0, 0 in the space in the object info browser. And so we can call that our little irregular theatre shape. After that we're going to draw a stage and some other things but that's a good start. The next thing I want to do uh, is, as we're drawing in 2D um, we're going to create some sort of false thickness to the walls so the first thing to do is I want to select my shape I'm going to go to offset I'm going to go to offset I'm going to click on the options you can see here which is the first option and the third option and I'm going to open, you remember the uh, little toolbox here, I'm going to open the toolbox and I'm going to do offset by distance 300 millimeters. So that's going to give me an offset of 300 millimeters. it's going to create another shape. Now if I clicked outside the box that would create uh, my offset line outside the box and if I create inside it will create the inside. So I'm just going to create inside. You can see now that's now created a nice sort of wall thickness um, that's given us an idea of our theatre, so that's quite nice. The last thing I'm going to do is, is these are actually two lines at the moment, it's two shapes. I'm actually going to add these two together, but again I'm going to use clip surface to take one from the other. So I'm going to do that, select them both together, clip surface, and then if you remember before I had to delete the shape that was left over, so I'm just going to delete that. So now you can see this is actually one shape and if I give it a fill, I'll give it a hatch, you can see I've actually created you know, some walls of a thickness in my theatre. So that's a good start for my theatre, that's the walls there. And What I'm going to do now is I'm going to draw out a stage area. So we're going to call this uh, a stage area, we're going to make it upstage, up, up, up the drawing a bit. So I'm going to start off with a rectangle and I'm just going to maybe draw it. We can call that our sort of stage area and then we're going to give it some uh, other properties as well. So I'm going to give it a little pros maybe. So I'm just going to draw a square here. 
or draw a rectangle here, should I say. Okay, so that's a bit of a pros. It's quite a thick pros, isn't it, really? But, um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just remind you again, we can do the whole thing again where we do, we could draw a circle. We could draw a circle out there. And then using X to go back to 2D selection, I'm going to select both those shapes, and I'm going to go, you've guessed it, I'm going to go clip surface. Delete that shape out. And you can see now I've got a little sort of, little bit of a pros shape. So the next thing I want to do is using another tool called Mirror. Now Mirror is quite a good way of duplicating things in a mirror image and it's very powerful and what I'm going to do is I'm going to mirror this little pros shape on the other side of stage. So the first thing I need to do is select it. I'm going to go down to Mirror in the basic toolbox and I'm going to click in the center point here of my theater and click again the center point there because that creates the mirror plane the place where it's going to be mirrored around so I'm just going to click click you can see already it's produced my pros on the other side of stage so what we've done so far is we've created a set of classes and a set of layers so the layers of one we've been working on at the moment are deck level all the way on the floor and the classes uh, I've been working on is Venue, which gives me a nice blue line, which tells me uh, that's the venue, venue stuff. If I turn off Venue, you can see... Oh, I need to be in another layer. If I turn off Venue, you can see it goes away. So that kind of gives you an indication as to what I was talking about when I was saying about how, how things appear and disappear. So, OK, so that's it for this particular one. What you could do is you could add some more to your theatre drawing if you like you could add some uh, other bits and pieces of kind of venue or some bits of scenery so maybe uh, let's go to let's go into the set class and I'm going to draw something on stage so I'm going to my stage level and and set class scenery class and I'm going to draw you know, let's just draw something like this could be a table or something Call that my table. It's quite a big table. And then what I'm going to do as well is I want to rotate it. So I'm going to hit rotate. Now when you hit rotate, the first thing that you do, the next click, gives you the center point of the rotation. And the and then you can then drag it out. So I'm going to actually rotate this by from the middle of my table. So I'm going to click there. And then I'm going to drag out my rotation here. Now, because it's snapping to rotation, it's giving me 30 degrees and 45 degrees, which is fine. So I'm going to call that my position there. And I'm just going to move it up stage as such. OK, so maybe that's a table there. So that's a piece of scenery. We could have something else. Uh, let's have a, maybe a, a lamp or something like that. So let's have a lamp in my scenery mode as well. Let's call that a standard lamp. Let's just zoom that in a bit. A big standard lamp. Let's try that again. Right. Okay, so that's my standard lamp there. So I've got two elements here. A piece of a table or something or a riser and then another circle element there and you can see I've drawn that in my set class so I've got two lots of two two classes going I've got a venue class and a, uh, a set class and also I'm running at two layers at the moment so the things I've been drawing on at the moment are at stage level so that's it for this uh, tutorial if you want to carry on working on your little theatre plan adding some elements as, as you see fit when we come back we're going to look at adding some lighting positions and then finally some lighting symbols so uh, hope you've got on well with that and uh, I'll see you again soon